Sha Yangling, what's going on? So today we're going to be looking at the new little raid functionality thing. But yeah, before this video gets started, I do want to say I'm giving a bunch of godly items away in my Discord, and I'll be giving those away to subscribers. So once we hit 30k, I'll also be doing a big, big giveaway on top of the ones I'm doing already. So if you want to win any of those, make sure you join my Discord, link in the description, and also be subscribed. Basically, you get this from the Wandering Trader. He will probably change locations in a little bit, but uh, yeah, this is where he is right now. What you gotta do is get lucky, find a little time splitter. Uh, I'd usually recommend you get the charged ones. Do not get the regular ones because regular ones are just straight up worse. They are both the same difficulty, by the way. The charged and the regular time splitter are both the same difficulty. It's just that the charged one gives better drops and the possibility of like time remnant stuff like that. Uh, this one doesn't actually do anything, it's basically just the regular raid, um, so it's kind of just worse. <coughs> it costs 2,000 and the other one costs like 5.5 thousand. But yeah, I'll just put some footage on screen of me doing them. Uh, they are very, very similar to like the regular ones, except I don't know how, but there was this one match where I got in and there was multiple people or multiple bosses, I mean. Like, there was Aizen and Ulcura, and it was very strange. I don't know how that even happened. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you guys where the Wandering Trader is. The new location, which is not the same as the old location because it just changed. Uh, we're going to be starting from the alley, and I'll just lead you there. It is much, much more difficult to get to than the last one, but I'll just I'll go there anyways. It takes quite a bit of parkour, which is weird. But anyways... Here we are at the alley, right? Entrance of the alley, right here. I'll just pop res for no reason. And I'll just start going there. So you might recognize this area. This is where the Soul Reapers do all their invasions and stuff. So you kind of just want to go up here, uh, right? and then go inside up these stairs a little bit oh holy shit okay anyways uh... you go this way right and there's gonna be this little slope right here so um... you wanna climb this slope and then you gotta parkour like across this thing i know this sounds like i'm capping and making it up but i i'm so serious this is it's a very obscure place to get to i'm so dead ass Okay, then you go over here, and then you gotta parkour on this. I'm gonna be so mad if I mess this up and I get a little... Anyways, yeah, you just gotta parkour across this. I'm not running, because I... D Why did I say that and then immediately run? Am I retarded? Okay. Um, but it should be right there. Yeah, okay, so it's right here. As you can see, I was not capping, this shit is obscure as hell. Um, you can, I don't think you can go across this bridge, which is why you have to go the other way. So, if you're saying, oh, can't you just go across the bridge? No, you fucking can't. So, you go over here, parkour across, and then you can finally get to the Wandering Trader once again. I really don't ever want to do that again, but it is what it is. You know, that, that'll just be it for the guide on how to get him, okay? So, that's, that's where you find him now. You're welcome. But yeah, starting to talk about what the meat of this entire update is, most people don't realize that they actually did add a lot of things and ways to get items, which could be considered end game, quote unquote. But it is pretty cool, and they did add a lot of things to grind for, like the new legendary moves. They did add a lot of things, a lot of ways to get items that were otherwise annoying to get, such as time relics, which I really didn't like doing the time gates for those, getting like 30 every time per hour. I'm not doing that, bro. So now that I can just spam farm the raids after grinding a bunch of S ranks, it's very, very helpful because that way I get a chance of getting a unstable. And on top of that, I also get a bunch of relics for gems that I might need. Maybe that's just useful for me, but I don't know. If you, if you enjoy that, let me know. And do not forget, or if you didn't even know about it, don't, don't, don't stop believing, hang on to that feeling. But yeah, they added a bunch of things into ranked, and this is very cool because 
In ranked, they used to not give any rewards other than the cosmetics, which was really kind of yay. And I'm not using any of those product essences. I know you're saying, oh, they have product essences. They have a bunch of rerolls. Dude, I don't need those at all. For some of you guys, it might be useful though, so good for you. But for me, I kind of, I didn't really have a reason to play ranked other than ELO. But now I do. And that is because out of godly crates, you can now get things like Hogyoku fragments and legendary skills, like straight up pull legendary skills out of godly cards. Like what, bro? It's crazy. But you can also get trash things that I got, like the legend or the godly accessory crates or the godly 40 product essences that I don't, I don't give a shit. Or you could get like um, whatever that spins your cards, that thing. You can get those in a group of 20. Which I don't need. You can also get a bunch of like rerolls for Shikai or Clan, which I also don't need. But when you do get one of the legendary skills or a Hogyoku fragment, it's pretty cool. But when you don't, it makes me not want to play the game. So yeah, that is what they added to ranked and all that. And they also added, of course, distorted time raids, which are very, very cool to do. It's not very cool when there's people griefing me in my game, in my stream. I know it's not but when you're doing it you know just like with your with your friend group having fun killing Alcura dying to Alcura because he overheals way too damn much getting your boss glitched because you chaos ultimated him and now he has infinite HP woohoo look at Aizen's HP look at it look at it look at it wait oh I need he won't die three. he's immortal Every time I try to get the reaction. Infinite HP Aizen. That's crazy. It's been like, what, the five ghost, minutes now? The, five minutes? The Aizen won't ghost. die? That's crazy. Getting bugged out of the map, under the floor, or to the point where you don't even have a character anymore. Oh, dude, bro, what the fuck no. is this? Bro, ASR no, fixed it. No, what no, the no, fuck? No. What, what the fuck? No, fu no, bro, this time Nick, splitter what? thing. This time splitter thing ain't what? working, bro. What flip is going this, on? Flip, flip this shit. What the fuck is oh, this? Nigga? Yo! Yo! Oh my god, bro. What's going on? These are all very, very fun things on it. And I know I'm just ranting and kind of rambling at this point. I might be a little buzzed, but all I'm saying is it's just it's just kind of stupid. You know what I mean? Like, they got all these testers and they're not testing. What are they doing? What do they do for like five hours? I hate to be that guy that's just complaining, but I'm also just gonna complain because I don't give a shit. So, this is my complaint, this is my rant, and now it's over because I can't think of anything else. So, because I have to find those clips now of what I'm talking about so it makes sense. Whatever, I, whatever, man. Uh, that's gonna be it for the video. I hope that is eight minutes long because I need my bag. So, I hope you watched all of it. Yeah, peace. And I'm, and I'm, I'm the best man. Get your mic jack, we move it like a rap